Join us for a cruise to Norway. First port of call, Stavanger. Then on to Bergen. Next up is the stunning Skolden. And finally, Haugesund. All of this and more on board Cunard's Queen Victoria. It's embarkation day and we are on our way to the Queen Elizabeth II terminal in Southampton. Parking with CPS at the terminal, it cost £152 for seven days. So we are in cabin number 6067 on deck 6 and starting off as we walk into the cabin on the left hand side we have plenty of kind of luggage space and we still need to unpack so it's all empty at the moment we've got three suitcases to unpack into these cupboards but thankfully there are plenty of hangers they are the annoying hangers that are kind of stuck on the little things and you have to fiddle about and get them off but there's plenty of them so that's good and our life jackets are just up here too so the next cupboard along again more storage space this time, shelves, and some more hangers just down below. We've got the safe, which is complimentary to use too, and you can fit a MacBook in there, so yay. You've also got your laundry bag here and some information. We need to speak to the room steward to see what kind of deals they have towards the end of the cruise. Be yeah, so for that little slip in, hand that to your cabin attendant and send that off. And the last cupboard is this one just here, which you might not be able to see from that angle. There is a full-size mirror as well as some another life jacket up here. We've also got two dressing gowns and two pairs of slippers. And just beside me is the bathroom, so let's go in and take a look. Okay, so as normal with a cruise ship bathroom, watch the step. So it's a fairly small bathroom. It's not um, as large, even as large as um, Aurora, P&O Cruises Aurora, it's not that large, um, but it's still a moderate size. The shower has got a shower curtain instead of a glass door. And let's just check the water pressure coming out of the shower. Seems fast enough for us. Just wait for that to stop. So just above you do have a hanging line up here as well to use to uh, dry or even hang your towels up and there's some storage space here for some toiletries and a crab rail. Turning back around you will see me in the mirror, not in all cabins, and you have two glasses just down here and a little shelf. I'm going to sit on the toilet while I do this, don't worry. Another storage shelf just here with some Penhaligon's hand and body lotion and some soap and then a shaver socket as well. Just down below we have got the toilet roll holder, spare toilet roll and some facial tissues. Over this side we do have the bin and some more facial tissues just there. Standing back up you've got your rails with some hand towels and your shower towels just up there too. Toilet's just down here. This is the first time we've had a cruise ship toilet that has a sticker on it. So um, I'm not sure why, but yeah, there's a sticker. Okay, let's jump out of the bathroom. Okay, so into the main bedroom itself. So we've gone for a twin configuration. Usually we do push them together, but we like to have our own duvets just because. So as I walk around here, it's just easier if I stand in the middle of the bed. Okay, so just up there you do have some hangers as well for your coats and you do have a large flat screen TV. The beds itself, um, I'll lay down. So I never get my um, height right, do I? We'll go with six foot one for this cruise. 
and uh, yeah, it's a nice size bed. Ooh, that was the bed that squeaked, not me. Each bedside does have a bedside table. There's no USB chargers. It is just the lamp. And then you've got some storage underneath. So you've got three drawers on this side, as well as your um, light switches over there too. And just behind me, we do have a two-seater sofa, which is perfect. It's nice to have somewhere else to kind of sit instead of having to stay on the bed if you're staying in the cabin for a lot of the day. So you've got your sofa and you've also got a table as well, which you can use. And just on the other side, you do have this desk space, our remote controls up here. You don't get these with your room. We bought these on board. Uh, we could bring one bottle of wine each, so we did. Got your in-cabin telephone, your voyage guide that's got a lot of information about the ship and the procedures on board. And then when we came in, we were greeted with a couple of uh, different information guides, such as the daily program, as well as a spa reservation that we made online before the cruise itself. Underneath the chair, you have a pull-out drawer which again more Cunard information, that TV guide and stateroom bar and dining. Over onto the other side now you've got a light up here and you've got some tea and coffee making facilities, Twining's tea bags oh, and these little biscuits that we always collect and then binge on on the last day. Lovely jubbly. Another drawer up here that does have your hair dryer in and just down below you do have a fridge which comes with a bottle, well a half bottle of sparkling wine. And now, and now let's go on to the balcony. It's, <laughs> I always struggle with balcony doors. So as we hop out onto the balcony, this is one of the largest balconies that we've had on board a cruise ship, I think, in regards to its depth. So on here, you do have two seats as well as a table. Side note, there's a light here, and the light switch is just on the wall behind, but it does take a few flicks to uh, get it going, so wait for it. Yay! So that's handy. But yeah, the balcony, the depth. Like you can actually relax out here. And I mean, if there was a table tennis thing, we'd probably play table tennis, but we won't. Um, so we are on deck six. So we are, are quite high above the lifeboats and the view is not kind of interrupted by the, the outer cabins on the ship. So it is quite private and it's a really nice space. The Muriel Spa is located on Deck 9 and offers a number of treatments as well as an aquatherapy centre. So we just had a spa tour and Georgie has left the spa with about 300 pieces of paper. I don't loads. Um, is interested in the acupuncture. Scares me. What was the question you asked? Doesn't hurt. <laughs> well, it's more like, does it hurt? <laughs> yeah, well, I've got tattoos. That's what I said to the lady. I've got tattoos, but for some reason, it just terrifies me having loads of needles in me. So, <laughs> so now we're in the Golden Lion pub because we are hungry. It's lunchtime, and we have done everything we needed to do. Yeah. And we've got some food on the way. I'm also wondering why it's so quiet on board. <laughs> might get busy in a bit though. What food did you order? I've ordered an Angus beef burger. And have you gone for? The Plowman's. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm so hungry. It was time to leave Southampton. Unfortunately, the weather was on our side. In our cabin, we've had a pretty chill day, haven't we? Well, it's embarkation day, so no, it was not chill. Well, no, since we've got on board the ship, it mm. was good. embarkation fastest we've ever had 11 minutes. So that was from not including dropping off the car, that was from getting into the actual terminal to on the ship 11 minutes. Yeah, and then we came back to the cabin quickly, dropped some stuff off, and then we went to our master station. Yeah, pretty straightforward. A lot of the lifts on this ship aren't working, 
Um, we thought they were just because like the luggage was going up and down, but mm -hmm. no, they're just not working. Um, so we're doing a lot of stairs on this cruise, but there's only ten decks, so it's not too bad. Yeah. What well, about dinner? What did you think of dinner? Dinner. So we weren't dressing up tonight. Um, we've got our suits and everything for the rest of the cruise, but tonight we thought we'd just have a chill one because of work and stuff. This is embarkation day. Let's just relax. So we went to the buffet. However, there wasn't much choice in the buffet. No, it really wasn't. At all. So it's a hard one. If you like fish and you like sushi, <laughs> there was a lot of choice. But for people who don't like fish, there was rump steak. But the rump steak had like an oyster sauce and it had shrimp on top. So I didn't really want a steak. But the chips they'd done with them the, were just... Oh, oh. The thick cut, uh, thick cut chips were really nice. Yeah. I did have a chicken breast. Um, there was chicken um, in a coconut thing, but I don't think I filmed that. But I also had pasta. Hmm. So, yeah. Then we went to the bookshop and we got some Cunard books. So we got that one, um, which is an entertainment director's kind of biography of working on Cunard ships. Oh, you've got a, a bookmark. <laughs> Um, so two bookmarks we got, one each. And then a book called Cunard Queens, um, which is just a history and kind of story of the six Cunard line queens. And Georgie also bought some books that he probably won't ever read. Yeah, Stephen King and James Patterson. And we'll just end up in the bookcase. I just, I see people sitting there reading a book in the sun and it's like, that looks so like relaxing. But then when I bought this book and I opened it, the font size is like three. So, uh, yeah. So you might get six pages read. I might, yeah. I might have to get reading glasses too by the end of this cruise. But I don't know if you can see this from there. Yeah. Um, Mine are just pictures. He's got a picture of Easy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that's it really. So that's day one. Tomorrow we've got some exciting things planned. But you're going to see all that in a few moments. Starting with laundry in the morning. Oh. Woo! But we have a box booked for the theatre, which is really exciting. So, um, and we're hopefully going to get to go and do some activities as well. So yeah. And before we close this little bit, I'm going to go stick this on the door for our breakfast in the cabin in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Roll on day two. It's day two, and we are at sea. just woke up early, um, this came about 15 minutes early, so Yay. it was, uh, Rude it was still up. in the process of waking up, yeah, we've opened the blinds and it's really, blinds, the curtains, it's really sunny outside, but room service has come, Woo. so we're going to move these off, cranberry juice, apple juice, coffee for me, spilt the juice because it was too early to carry them, but we ordered um, hot breakfast, didn't we? Yeah. And we haven't seen what it looks like yet. Okay, so this one is Dan's. He's got um, the American streaky bacon, hash brown sausage, two eggs, sunny side up, and a portion of beans. It doesn't look that bad. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Aww. It's a croissant and whatever that is. But I think it's a cinnamon swell, because isn't it? that cinnamon on the side, yeah. Mm. It's like a cinnamon cobbler. Cinnamon cobbler. What's in this little package? I'm guessing this is that toast. Ah. This is going to be the most boring reveal. Ready? Uh, oh, you got a bagel? I got a bagel, yeah. So what's the breakfast? All included? Yeah. Hopefully not it will go on the bill. We'll find out. <laughs> no delivery charge or anything, is there? Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry. I know. Let's see. Our first activity of the day was a watercolour class, which was held in the Upper Britannia restaurant on Deck Free. So we are here for our watercolour class painting session. Yep. How much was the kit, Georgie? The kit was $35 um, each. And what have we got in there? We've got um, some nice watercolour um, paper. Um, we've got, I've never done watercolour before, so a few brushes. Thin, medium, thick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pencil sharpener, a rubber, yeah. pencil, uh, this. Paint mixing tray, we'll call and it that. A really nice looking. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what's this, what's this called? Paper? <laughs> yeah. Well done. So yeah, we're new to this. Dan's not so new. So this might be horrific. Yeah, and we're in the Britannia restaurant. Breakfast is still finishing up over there. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to this, so see what we can churn out. Yeah. <laughs> What? The water paint. Oh. Paint, water, water colour <laughs> of water paint. I don't think it's very stressful. It was just um, a, a big learning curve, wasn't it? There was a lot to learn. And it was like, we're beginners, very beginners, and it was a really hard thing to draw. So I didn't like mine. But we're going back again, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, so the plan this afternoon was to chill and go to the gym. So Georgie has allowed us not to go to the gym today. To go and see watercolour. But it's a two hour session and they were doing it again at 2 pm and we could leave our stuff there, so we might be doing a seascape. Yeah. We're not sure. So, um, have you said how much the kit is? $35 each. Yeah, and so. You had your paints, your brushes, your paper. Um, yeah. It seemed like good value. It was really good, yeah. It's yeah. Good kit. So, okay, so, yeah. Food's here. so the food's here and um, we've had to come and get some fuel um, because we're just so tired from watercolouring. Yeah. <laughs> so we come to the Golden Lion where we ate yesterday on embarkation day and um, so far very impressed with the food and my tikka masala looks nice and so far you've got macaroni and cheese and we're just waiting for one more thing aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so this is the hammock grain mustard and pea fritter. Mm. That's quite nice. The whole meal looks really nice and we've obviously got our large diet Pepsi's. Yep. So. Have you said that we've got a drinks package on this cruise? No, but we'll talk about that and give a bit more detail a bit later. Okay, Let's cool. eat, 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 eat. After another watercolour class in the afternoon, we took a stroll around the promenade on deck three to take in the sea views. It was gala night on board Queen Victoria, so we headed to the Britannia restaurant for some dinner. It was time for a visit to the Royal Court Theatre, and we had booked a theatre box for $55. This included desserts, chocolates, and champagne. What is this cocktail? It's a strawberry cocktail. Oh, what, with champagne? Yeah, and it's actually quite nice. It's, like, it's not overly strawberry, it's strawberry. Mm. I think it might be when it gets to the bottom of it. <laughs> So we're in the box. We are. Um, so we've just we arrived, even I should say, and we were put into the lounge, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Said by a lovely lady called Jennifer. Yeah. Um, how much was this? This was sixty dollars plus fifteen percent service charge, so sixty nine dollars mm. in total. And um, yes, we it included those chocolates, those strawberry chocolate dipped strawberries, those little raspberry chocolates, mm. quinoa chocolates, something else that we had, <laughs> a cocktail each, and a bottle of Laurent Perrier champagne as well. Yeah. Um, and we're seeing Be Our Guest, which is yeah. kind of a variety show of all the different shows that they do. So we chose this one because we thought it would be a really good mix yeah. of things. Yeah. Like, so there's going to be hopefully something that we like. Yeah. So, yeah, we're here now. Um, we've got a champagne. We don't know what to do. We don't know if to open it. No. <laughs> um, you had a strawberry, a strawberry Bellini or something? Yeah, something like that. 
Yeah. Um, so it's just strawberry kind of juice and champagne. It's quite yeah. nice. But yeah, I love having private space. It's really nice. We are the only ones at the moment in the box. On the other side, there's boxes with their complimentary. Yeah. This side, we didn't realise this. This side is paid for, but there's only two boxes in use tonight. So we walked in, we were kind of lit up by this light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go on with the show. Yeah. Experience. I really enjoyed it. I'm a little tipsy now, though. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed it. I know, and the rocking isn't helping at all, is it? The champagne was nice, wasn't it? The champagne was nice. It was the chocolates. I really mm. enjoyed. Yeah, it's just been. I don't think it's that bad value actually. For Six to no. nine dollars, like all of that. Yeah. The show was not a variety show. It was just a collection of songs performed by the ship's company. Yeah. So I got that wrong, so apologies. Yeah, it was good fun, wasn't it? But yeah, Great Showman was in there. I think they did every song. Like of Great Showman. Roll as well. Yeah. Adele. Um, Ed Sheeran, Mega Mix. Yeah. There's lots. So. lots. Yeah. yeah. Right. Off we go. Yeah, I'm going to pull this first, though, because I want to see what it does. Oh, no, it scares me. After the theatre, we headed back to the cabin to change into some more comfortable clothing. As it was June, the sun did not set until very late, offering a stunning glow at around 10pm. Thanks for watching our Queen Victoria vlog to Norway. Don't forget to subscribe for more or visit cruisescapes.com for more info about Cunard. And we will see you next time.